Okay, so let's solve this topic. So finding the inverse domain and range of a radical functions. So we have this given radical function and these are the steps to find the inverse of a function. So first we need to find the domain. So to solve for the domain of this radical function, we just need to equate this equation inside the radical to zero. So we have x minus 4 equals 0. Then to solve for x, so transpose this negative 4. So x is equal to positive 4. Then place this number in a number line. So this one is 4. We have this negative infinity and positive infinity. So we need to test the numbers before and after this positive 4. So these are the numbers. This one is positive 3 and this one is positive 5. So if x equals positive 3 from this equation, so we have 3 minus 4. And 3 minus 4, this one is negative 1. Then if x equals positive 5, so we have 5 minus 4 and 5 minus 4, this one is positive 1. Since there is no square root of negative numbers, because square root of negative numbers are imaginary numbers, so therefore, these are the domain of these radical functions. So we have square bracket 4 because 4 is part of the domain to positive infinity. Then to find the inverse using the steps, so first replace f of x with y, so this f of x becomes y. Then equals square root of x minus 4. Then interchange x and y, so therefore your y becomes x and your x becomes y. Then solve for new y. So to omit this radical, we just need to take the square, both sides. So this one becomes x squared, then equals. So we can omit now the radical. So we have y minus 4. Then to solve for y, transpose this negative 4. So this becomes positive 4. So we have now x squared plus 4 equals y. Then replace the new y with this inverse of x. So this y becomes f to the power negative 1 of x or the inverse of f of x. Then equals x squared plus 4. So this is now the inverse of the given radical function. Then from the inverse to find the range. So since there is no uh, variable in the denominator, so therefore the range from negative infinity to positive infinity or all real numbers. Then for this given, so to find the domain, so equate this to 0, so we have 3 minus 2x equals 0. To solve for x, transpose this positive 3. So we have negative 2x equals negative 3. Then divide by negative 2. So cancel. So therefore x is equal to positive 3 over 2. So in a number line, so we have this positive 3 over 2. Or we can write this one as positive 1 and 1 half. So this one is positive and negative infinity. And these are the test numbers. Since positive 1 and 1 half, so we can have this positive 1 and positive 2. So if x equals positive 1 from this equation, so we have 3 minus 2 times 1. So 3 minus 2, this one is positive 1. Then the other one, so we have 3 minus 2 times 2. So 3 minus 2 times 2, that's 4. And 3 minus 4, this one is negative 1. 
So therefore, these are the domain of this radical function. So from negative infinity to positive 3 over 2, then square bracket. And to find the inverse, so replace f of x with y. So we have y equals square root of 3 minus 2x. Interchange x and y. So this one is x equals square root of 3 minus 2, then y. To solve for new y, take the square both sides. So this one is x squared. Then cancel the radical, so equals 3 minus 2y. Then to solve for uh, y, since this one is negative 2y, so transpose, that becomes positive 2y, then equals this uh, positive x squared, transpose, becomes negative x squared, then plus 3. Then divide both sides by 2. So, y now is equal to negative x squared plus 3 over 2. Then replace this y with this inverse of f of x. So, we have the inverse of f of x is equal to negative x squared plus 3 over 2. So, this is now the inverse of this radical function. Then from the inverse, to find the range, since there is no variable in the denominator, so therefore the range from negative infinity to positive infinity. So this is how to find the inverse, the domain, and range of a radical functions.